All right, we're going to change directions now, head outside for a little weather update, because I'll tell you what, if you didn't get outside at all today, whoo, you missed out. It is fantastic out there. Jason, I have to shout out your fall decor in the background there. Is that one of Romney's specialty pumpkins <laughs> that she has put together? Yes, this is... Sure is. Yep, that's it. So, you know, if the wife does something really good, you got to show it off on TV, right? I mean, well, you know, a few brownie points I'm trying to earn here. So I appreciate you. Very good newlywed manners there, Jason, certainly. And uh, <laughs> Romney has a real gift with calligraphy, and she loves to do special things. So thanks for sharing that with us, Jason. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? Uh, one of the things I'm going to share with you is some bad news. Uh, for those of you that don't like cold weather, uh, you're not going to like my forecast because some of you are going to be waking up to temperatures in the upper 30s. But first, let's talk about what's going to be happening tonight. I mean, I think overall tonight is going to be a beautiful night to get outside and to watch the sunset, which should be happening here within about the next hour and a half. Diane was outside over in uh, Euclid, uh, Beach Park yesterday and she snapped this photo. Thanks, Diane. I appreciate you. If you have an interesting weather photo, you can upload it to the WKYC app. It's the second option that's on there. So right around this time, we were talking about breezy conditions yesterday with winds potentially gusting up to about 30 or 40 miles per hour. You can see that the winds are slowly starting to die down. They're ranging anywhere between five and about nine miles per hour. And Doppler radar right now, things are looking beautiful across Northeast Ohio. And it's pretty much that way across much of the Midwest right now. We do have a smaller system that's moving to the north over in not only Canada, but also Michigan, but that is expected to stay north. So we are not expecting any precipitation for the next 24 hours. Temps right now, they're, they're gorgeous, right? We're in the mid 60s across much of Northeast Ohio, including right here in downtown Cleveland at 64 degrees, 67 down in Akron, 65 over in Canton. And regionally, we do have a pocket of warm air uh, uh, you can see it right there with uh, St. Louis checking in at 79 degrees. But behind that, over in Bismarck, North Dakota, it is 59 degrees. That cooler air is what is going to be shifting in our direction here within the next uh, 72 hours or so. One of the things that we meteorologists like to look at is what's going on in the upper levels, the jet stream. It's pretty much what separates cold Canadian air from warm air from our south. And you're going to notice here that by the latter half of the week, we are going to start to get more cool cooler air into our region. So that's why when I first told you at the top of the show about some of those uh, upper 30s, yep, they're coming. National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. So it'll be a calm evening. We'll see temperatures dipping down to the low 50s and some 40s in the overnight hours. And then tomorrow overall should be a pretty nice one once again. However, by the evening time, we'll see increasing amounts of clouds. Here's a look right now to Universal Windows Direct 7-day forecast. High temperature tomorrow of 70 degrees, 67 by Thursday. Day, and then that cooler air gets here by Friday and we could end up seeing our next chance for some rain. We'll have some more news and weather right after this.